so this is another way to get a child on your back. I'm going to use a bigger child. Um, this is easier if they're walking um, themselves and I'm going to put the waistband a little bit lower because I'm going to use a much bigger child this time. Okay, so we're starting the same way. I'm going to ask my child to climb up. Ow! That's it. He's going to climb up my back. I'm just going to bounce him up to the top of this carrier. And because he's bigger, he's old enough to kind of hold himself on, which makes means it's easier for me to let go. So I'm going to find the shoulder straps, the same as before. Make sure I've got them the right way around. Okay, and then once I've got hold of them, I'm going to do the same thing. So really straight arms, try and get this right over his bottom and as far up his back as it will go. And I'm bouncing again to make sure he's in. Now he's bigger, so he's going to have his arms out of the carrier. So take your arms out. Just let them drop. Just take your arms out, Isaac. Yeah. Take your arms out. That's it. So he's got his arms out of the carrier and it doesn't need to go all the way up to his head as long as it's up to his armpits. He's safe. Now I'm still holding tension in these straps because if I let go, he's going to drop and I don't want him to drop. I want him to stay up high. So I'm going to clip that together. And I like to sometimes bring them both into one hand just so that I can keep hold of them or tuck one under that arm so that I can tighten that up. Tighten it up, tighten it up so I'm comfortable. Are you comfortable? Yeah? Yeah. And that's it, that's